demanding reductions of the scale and speed that the UK government has suggested. We believe that these will slow economic recovery and make deficit reduction more difficult. And that's something that has been demonstrated already by the impact of the cuts that have been imposed since 2010. So we will point out that the Charter for Budget Responsibility actually allows the UK government flexibility to increase spending over its current plans while still reducing the deficit and the debt. And of course, if the UK government does decide to stick to its current proposals, we will argue for ways in which the impact on Scotland can be lessened. Secondly, I don't think it's desirable to hold an in-out referendum on membership of the European Union. Uh, but since a referendum is now inevitable, uh, we will work to protect Scotland's interests in that referendum. We will propose a double majority, meaning that exit from the European Union would only be possible if all four nations of the UK agree to that, something that would ensure that Scotland couldn't be forced out of the European Union against our will. And during the run-up to the referendum, the Scottish Government will, of course, make a strong and a positive case for staying within the European Union. We don't think it's perfect. We think reform is both desirable and necessary. But we believe very strongly that Scotland's interests are best served by being members of the European Union, and we will argue that case strongly and positively.